A few weeks ago, we reported on a hit and run in Bloomington. Turns out a child was also hit in that incident. News Center 25's LaShonda McEwen has the new details. The Victoria County Sheriff's Office has confirmed this is now a double hit and run investigation with the suspects still on the loose. We got called reference potential hit and run as well as potential stabbing. Deputies responded out to the area, uh, identified two victims, one being a Lupita Juanita Valadez Gomez, a, uh, a adult uh, female uh, who had a compound fracture to her left wrist, uh, which, uh, which was broken, as well as a broken right arm. She was flown to uh, Brook Army Medical Center for attention. The other victim was a 13-year-old boy who has a broken right knee. The incident happened on Tuesday, April 28th at 2nd and Rail Street around 8 o'clock that evening. Uh, deputies went out, uh, interviewed several people, conducted investigation. That investigation is, uh, has been turned over to, uh, uh, to our investigations division who are currently working on that. Due to the, the sheer number of people that were at that scene and the information that has to be obtained, uh, the deputies are, are going through and conducting the interviews at this time. Uh, trying to make sense of, of what happened. Chief Deputy Boyd says there was a fight before the hit and run. Deputies are still trying to figure out exactly what happened. At this point in time, we have not made any arrests uh, due to the fact that we're still conducting investigations and ensuring that all the information we get is true and correct. Uh, unfortunately, as is often the case in these kind of uh, uh, criminal activities, a lot of the people that were at the scene are actually involved in not only this crime, but other criminal activities. Currently, there's no word on if the two victims are still in the hospital. In Victoria, I'm LaShonda McEwen for your hometown news.